Welcome to Falcon Blues TV. Where have you been? Yeah. Where have we been? Look at that. This is the international break ourselves. Yeah, we are, we are. <clears throat> uh, Dave and Paul decided to record on a. What day is it? Tuesday? Wednesday? Is it, it is Wednesday. I'm it? losing track of my day. I mate. thought it was Thursday, then I've been chocking and work. It's too dark. The bins haven't gone out. It's Wednesday. Bins do go out tonight, though, everyone. Yeah, yeah. But I'm feeling like. Um, don't need no purple bins. We've <laughs> <laughs> got maroon ones. Yeah, the maroon, bit, maroon and grey ones. Yeah. Have you been, mate? Right, yeah. You know what? Just pot on all. Weird. Yeah. It's weird. It, it's, weird. it's a weird feeling when there's no proper footy. I know, I made up that there's actually football this weekend, and I made yeah. up because this is the weekend I have to work Saturday, and Everton playing on Sunday. Happy days. Can't come over that. Oh, I've got a bad start, though. Everton haven't won many games on a Sunday in the last 20. No, I'm serious. Sure. Think about the West Ham one as well. I'm not thinking about it. I'm yeah. telling you to shut yeah. up. <laughs> this could be a short, short video, otherwise. <laughs> um, but we just like to start on an interesting point. Today is marks the third anniversary of the passing of Howard Kendall. Um, Everton's greatest manager. Yeah, it was just a horrible day when when we had, when we had the news mm. on that one. It's just um, we'll be playing. We were playing some on our own. We were playing our own, but like that following. Can't remember who it was now. I'm trying to think if it was United though, that, what, was that Alan Ball? I forget, I forget now. I can't remember. It was, you know, it wasn't... It was too many drinks ago, that for me. Yeah, it was, um, it wasn't a good day that, actually. No. But even now, you still think about it, you see all the, all the plaudits and all the yes. memories that come out of Twitter and social media for Howard. You know, the man was loved. Yeah, it should be a day and, of celebration. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Dave's got a really good picture with him. Uh, yeah. How old were you, Dave? Uh, well... What was that, 84, so 84. Was just, I just turned, I was two, nearly three. Yeah, check out the Falcon um, TV uh, Twitter for that. It was, an, it was an open day at Belfield, that's yeah. what it was, and uh, Mark Phil was there as well. Uh, he'd broken his leg, sure. so, so he was in a wheelchair for it and everything. <laughs> there's, a, there's pictures with him, with, uh, I think there's with Howard, with Alan Bailey. A few Did you break his leg? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> left a roller skate on the stairs for him. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Howard, all yeah. the best, mate. Uh, so uh, on, to, on to some players coming back. Yeah. yeah. Terry Minnell and uh, Gomez have played 60 minutes in a sort of a game behind closed doors. Mm. James McCarthy was also also involved in oh, it. Good. Good. Um, maybe they'll be on the bench. Probably not McCarthy, but maybe Mina and Gomez. Because I've seen some people on Twitter are saying, "Oh, put them in to start." Mm. You can't change your winning team. You know, you well, can't you, can, you can for the cup. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can for the cup. Yeah. No, but, no uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't change the side to beat. No, you can't. They, they, they played well. Now I know we, we, we you know, it was a whale that scored and we were against ten men, but we were by far the better team. As yeah. long as you didn't watch match of the day with their um, exactly, we, not very we, we the best side throughout. So there was no, there was no, yeah, not to worry about there. But I think I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about Palace, we've got, we've got a review later on in the week, once we've got a bit more news, we might have a bit more team news as well at that point. But, uh, yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't change the winning side, no way. No, definitely I'm, not. I'm happy with the way, the definitely way it Definitely not. And, uh, the, I think the only miss is probably um, Garner Gay, just uh, part of the picked yeah, up an injury. So, right. would that see Gomez come in? Schneiderlin. Schneiderlin Davis? I'd, I'd have to say Schneiderlin mm. Davis, just because... Gomez is probably still not fully fit. It's still that partnership, isn't it? Still working. It out. is, yeah. 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 And um, I mean, someone said that on Twitter. I can't remember who it was who said it, but at the moment, our best centre mid pairing is Davis and Garner Gay. Yeah, definitely. they've been playing well despite the fume online. Like mm -hmm. that, that he's still getting Tom Davis, yeah. who is rumoured to be getting a new Everton contract. You know, good. Let the fume begin. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah. Just behave yourselves when he's... He's better than you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's better than the me. Best so better than that, yeah. He's better than you. So. Best argument. Not better than me. No, no, nah, yeah. Well, you're a goalie. <laughs> I know, yeah. So, no, I'm better than Golden Tom Davis. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. He's probably, probably a worldly goalie and I was a, a below average keeper at best. But uh, speaking of rumours... You, you tried, mate. You yeah, tried. I tried. Yeah, that's tried. the main part. So, yeah, that's the main thing. Uh, it's, speaking, silly, it's silly season now. That it, it, it's, it's the rumours, yeah. It's gone off, I mean, we've gone off, off the Premier League for two weeks and silly season has started the, already with the The Genos have got nothing to talk about no. and they're already starting their fake rumours. Literally throwing names at a, you know, a thrown dartboard. Uh, start again. 
just throwing darts at a, at a board full yeah. of names and open what sticks me. Then it's like, yeah, I'm adding Ramsey for fucking 125, 150 grand. 150 grand. But you know what, though? I would have had Ramsey on three. Dead right, I His contract's coming up, isn't it? Mm. <clears throat> now, is he able to. Is he only able to allow to speak to foreign clubs in January? Yeah, but he could go on loan with the look to okay. a permanent move. I think, that, I, think that was, I think that was the idea that we were actually potentially looking at. Because I mean, on FIFA 19, you can sign players up with six months to go. But well, that's, that's you, not real. That, that's if you use the cheat, like up, up, down, down, <laughs> left, right, square, triangle type, type thing. But yeah. um, I thought Van Ramsey though. I was. I'm conscious of his injuries. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's five or six calf and hamstring injuries in the space of like four years. I know, yeah. I know that's a why it's a long period, but it's a long time to be out injured as well. He's out injured now. That's why he didn't play yesterday for Wales. Exactly. But uh, we we actually he actually turned us down to sign for yeah. Arsenal. 10 years ago and I remember that because what? I was in Ireland for my 20th birthday and I remember vividly being hung over watching Sky Sports News in my aunties and uh, Kevin Ratcliffe was actually saying, I've heard it in Arsenal, I think he should go to Arsenal. He actually said that. Cheers, Kev, Kev the Rat, <laughs> there he is, yeah. But, uh, was, it, was it Cardiff? He was from Cardiff, yeah. Cardiff. And I, I think Ratcliffe was talking about it because obviously he's Welsh and that, but... Um, yeah, I mean, he's he turned down. He's bigging us up there, Kev, you know. You've got to understand why he'd go to Arsenal over yeah, there. Yeah, that time as well. Was. That time, but, uh, but they, they, they signed him for a snip as well, but then, just under five now. Didn't we then get turned down by Joe Ledley? Around about the same time as well. There's loads of players that have turned us down, isn't he? Oh, and write a book. Yeah. Someone write a book. Tell us how many of you. Shh, let's get it done. Let's do that after Christmas, yeah. we've got a book launch. <laughs> <laughs> The tales of Aaron Ramsey and Joe Ledley, the Welsh Lions who didn't sign for Evan. Oh, mate. Oh, coming to a bookshop near you. We'll do book signings. Yeah, coming yeah. to all good bookshops and a few shit ones as well. Yeah, and if you want to, uh, if you want us to sign your tablet, we'll just get a compass or something and just scribble it on. Um, got a black marker that can get rubbed out. Here we go. Um, and the the other the other player that we're getting oh, to for uh, twenty six million. Tivoch. Origi. Divock Origi, yeah. I, I, I can't see this one happening, to be honest. I just think this one is absolutely... Is he, is he better than Lukaku, no? I don't, I don't think at, so. At this point, I'd probably say he would be. But have you seen that picture of Lukaku? Where he was starting off forever, now where he is now? Yeah. I think That's Lukaku cool. needs to lay off the air. And I can't say <laughs> no, like, but... <laughs> no, I'm not a professional <laughs> footballer. <laughs> you know? Lay off the hot pots, mate, Jesus. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Oh, I didn't he? Did. Maybe, crazy. Maybe it was a bad picture. Yeah, that's my excuse. That's what he'll, that's what he'll say, yeah. yeah. But uh, I, I can't see a really deal coming off. It just seems random that. Mm. Um, is he is he going to take Everton any further? Is he, is he, he's no. not? No. You know, I mean, like, the, I've, I'd rather have Welbeck because we're getting like a choice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd, I'd have Mark Strashford over all of them if that could happen, but yeah. maybe that's just wishful think, thinking from my part. But I think in January we, we do need a new striker. Yeah, definitely. I, I don't think. I, Michael will agree with you, Cenk's not the answer. Mike will certainly agree with that only <laughs> like for say uh, I've nah, got to back Cenk, haven't we? Cenk? 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 Tosin. Answers on a postcard. Tosin, yeah. Answers on a postcard. See Tosin. 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 Answers on a postcard. So anyway, um, <laughs> Jordan Pickford played quite well. Yeah. Hmm. yeah but... Was it <sighs> yesterday? Uh, the day, day before, before yeah. It's a bit annoying because you look at you know the the three balls that he put put in for to the goals, and he referred to it as long ball. Really, long ball from Pickford. No, he picked the man out. I know. I know. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah, it was a, it was a it's a punt, but it, he knew what he was doing. He's watched. He's picked his spot. Great, great tackle as well. After his uh, when he, when he, when he almost got a penalty. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's the most we're going to talk about these international UEFA nations. Yeah. Garbage, sick of it. When's it again? In another six weeks. <sighs> is it really? There's friendlies in November, fifteenth uh, of November, because yeah, the Republic of Ireland are playing Northern Ireland. So we'll probably take a break from recording then as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's nothing, nothing to talk about. Speaking of long balls, you've just reminded me that uh, <laughs> what, what, Big what, Sam talk about long balls. Yeah. <laughs> go uh, on, go on, Paul. Uh, Brown Sauce when she was on Talk Sport, and uh, I don't know if you've seen this on Twitter, but. He said that Sergio Busquets is a uh, Eric Dyer's as good as him, if not better. Is this when he was calling them Buskers? Yeah, Buskers. Yeah. Buskers, Buskers. To be fair, that's a tough way to pronounce. Like, but he's now backtracked on that comment because he's just had so much, so many people laughing at him 
But he, uh, that's just him all over, isn't he it? He is the best internet troll ever. Yeah, definitely. He's brilliant at it. I'm, I'm, I'm convinced he does it on purpose. All those memes of him dancing to Rihanna or whatever it was at a wedding. I, I'm conv convinced he does it on purpose now, because even talks Bob was thinking, just get him on. Just get him on, yeah. Get we know he's going to say something comes away. Whatever he says is golden. Yeah. And just watch the fume. It's unbelievable. But, that's uh, it, yeah. That's us for Everton. That's us for Everton. Yeah, we yeah, but there's nothing to talk about, you know. I've seen all these videos that people have been lashing up for, almost for the sake it's just of filler, isn't it? Really, it's yeah. just yeah. Yeah, we've just filled we it just, up. We just had a little break. We just done it all in like nine minutes. So, yeah. um, plugs, plugs, plugs. So, so uh, on the obviously Halloween's coming up, and uh, you know, you don't need to tell me what date that's on. Uh, but the Falcon have got a Halloween party for kids. Till uh, the thirtieth. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, there's a disco magician. Free snacks for every child and uh, prayers. A disco magician. Yes, yeah, he's, he's a dancing magician. <laughs> he's just full of lights and lasers. Oh my god. What a, what a, what a, what a, why is no one being a disco magician? Why aren't we? Disco stew does tricks. <laughs> why aren't we being disco magicians? Yeah, there's, so there's free snacks for every child and uh, there's a prize for the best costume. Yeah. And that starts at half five. It'll be lasting until about half nine. And it's four pounds for the ticket. And the very next evening. Yeah, that's right. Paulie is hosting the Falcons football quiz. One night only. One night only. One night only. Um, oh, it is November the 1st at half eight. Free entry. It's, a, it's the Falcons football quiz. It's not about Everton. It's not about the Red Shite. No. Football in general. That's so, right. Get your mates, get a team, come and have a few bevies. It's free to play. Yeah. What's, what's the prize for the winner? £25. Pounds. We're going to... £25. Pounds. Right, okay, £25 to the winning team, yeah. Oh, it's the winning team. Yeah, yeah so... That's it. Be there, be, be there or be square, sort of thing, you know? Yeah. Come on down. Then. Isn't it weird when we've got nothing to fucking talk about? No. Hmm. Should I play this song from Jeopardy now? Do, 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 do. I, I suppose, I suppose uh, no news is good news, you know? Yeah, yeah, no There's news. There's really been that no, many injuries no, back No, no injury okay. news, uh, yeah. Because that, that's what I hate about the international breaks, it's, you know. Injuries. Bollocks, innit? Oh, yeah. So, Halloween party here on the 31st. Next night, the football quiz. Both, well, no, the quiz is free, the Halloween party is four quid for the child. Yeah. yeah. Free, for, free for parents. Come and have a baby and yeah. let your kids go and run around, get a load of sweets, get full of sugar, and then never get to bed. Yeah, yeah. So, for now, up to the it's, it's safer oh, than letting your kids go out to the knock on doors. I'm, I'm going that angle. I'm going that angle to plug the party. Be safe, be seen. Be safe, go the Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, like I said, up the yeah. toffees. Colin Chunk. <laughs>